Tim Beach during the Great Pacific Air Show. We're working with Surfrider campaign trying to help clean up. Uh, this device is a buoyancy filtration device. It uses gravity and buoyancy to remove microplastics from the environment. So you go around and you collect bucket fulls of trash and all the material that's floating on top, the small stuff that you can't pick up by hand because it's way too tiny. You collect all of it. This is a three-stage fish tank aquarium filter. So the water that's passing through is filtering out all the really small material and all of the lighter stuff that's floating up above comes down and gets stored in this wheelbarrow system. All of the clean sand stays inside of this black box. It's science. As you can see the small Real particles. Die, baby. Yeah, come on with some trash. Yeah, What are you doing right now, Ray? So we want to remove as much of the organic material as you can. Because uh, this stuff is supposed to be here on the beaches. It's here for a reason. It's all the waste on the side, dude. So yeah, all of this, you know, we're trying to separate all the organics out here. Um, this is our last load for the day. We've been here for about three and a half, four hours. So everything that's underneath in the system uh, is what we've collected so far. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just stirring up the sand because a lot of this material will be caught underneath the sand. So by stirring it up, you're you know activating it. You're letting some of the material that, that was buoyant, trapped underneath, come up. Uh, and then you can remove all of this organic junk that's at the top that we don't want to throw away. As you can see, as they move the sand, more and more trash comes up to the surface. What does plastic do to our oceans, Ray? Plastics are killing everything in our oceans, including us. Because these small microplastics are being eaten by every species of fish that's in the ocean. Uh, there hasn't been a single species of aquatic life found that doesn't have plastics inside of its body. It's being found in 90% of the salt that we use to eat our food. That's, that's salt. It's on everything. We eat everything with salt. And this microplastics inside of it. Because we get our salt from dehydrating ocean water, right? And our ocean water is full of all this microplastic. So not only are we getting it through that food source, but through all of the fish that eat it too. Even the, the smallest microorganism is eating these microplastics, and as it's going up the food chain, it's coming back to us. You know, we're eating the tunas, the marlins, uh, you know, all the clams, the mussels. Those are the worst. All they do is they just filter out all of the water and all the gunk that's in it. So they're getting it the worst, um, and it makes it all the way up back to us. So microplastics are a really big deal. And everything that stays underneath here, it's all just plain sand, no trash, no gunk. All right, so this is it's pretty clean right now. Look at that. Good to see it. Yeah, once even got cigarettes out of there. It's everything. Clean the world, baby. Real deal. So once it's once the system will get full with sand, or once you're done, um, you can take the filter off, put it down. That easy. Check out all that waste. Wow. Making a difference, baby. That is one small bucket of sand. A lot of trash. Gatorade bottle cap. This is messy. Styrofoam. It's dirty work. It's a micro job. It's a dirty job. Yeah. Ray, how, how much does one of these things cost you to put together? It costs uh, around three hundred fifty to four hundred dollars. In Hawaii, it cost me around three fifty, and out here it was like three eighty-eight, three ninety. So anyone in the world can create it. I got one on out in Florida. I was able to create one in Look Hawaii, that. I was able wow. to create one out here. So this is all material that anyone can gather wow. and create. There's no cutting involved, no uh, gluing, no special Woo. tools. 
Okay, bring it back over here again. And then all of this is, you know, you got your organic, but you're getting all these small little pieces that you wouldn't have gotten any other way. Wrappers, plastics. All that little gunk. And then on top of it, these filters here are getting the even smaller stuff. The little flakes that you see that you wouldn't have been able to gather before. Uh, we're removing microplastics from the environment. It's making a difference, baby. Making a difference. So all of this, all of our trash, it floats. It's all point. this plastic. So I'm just using water to filter it out because it's in all of our beaches. You know, it's everywhere. So by using water, we can filter it out and we can leave behind nothing but clean sand and we can get all these small pieces that are getting in our food. Yeah. That's disgusting. It is. We only have one planet, right? Yep. Ran by four filters. A couple of the filters. That's all clean sand over there. Anything you can purchase at a local oh, pet that store. Is the clean sand that we removed. There's tanks. They had all this trash in it. Well, he's holding a, a sub uh, fountain pump. Yeah, and there's just powering this little, it all by a car battery. Keep all that gunk off. Wow. Yeah, it's hard. There's too much gunk. Uh, that's why I got that clean bucket water over there. Yeah. We filtered out most of the water through the uh, fish tank aquarium. There's still going to be a little bit left that the pump's not able to get. So I'm putting it through a, uh, it's a paint strainer essentially to get the remaining material that's all floating on the top. So don't get the sand, but yeah, all that floating junk. Um, and then, you know, to get it out, um, it's as simple as that. So it don't seem like much, but we're trying to get as much of this material out of the environment as possible. And we're, you know, we're definitely getting it. You can, you can see there's still all those little microplastic pieces there. There's the stuff that's on the filters and the big old bucket of gunk that we have now. That's it, cool.